Hello folks, I hope that you are having just a great, great day today. Today I've got um, something that's very, very happy to do, but also a little sad to do too. Uh, we're taking a look at the final Cardios of Atlantis story by Manly Wade Wellman. I reviewed them all for you. Um, and, I, and I've enjoyed them for you. I'm taking another look. This is also the last short story in this collection that I've read. I've reviewed most of them for you. There's two of them that I didn't review for you um, that were sequels to a story that I did review for you. I've done everything from the Lee Brackett story in this collection by Lord of, Lord of the Earthquakes um, to the Man of the Way Wellman, Cardios of Atlantis short stories. Um, I'll link you to this collection below, but this will be the last time that we take a look at this collection. Um, and so I'm, I'm happy to sort of leave you with this sort of sword, sword and sorcery um, world building that happens with Cardios of Atlantis. Now, as a reminder, Manly Wade Wellman was a man of a lot of stuff. His life was like a superhero or uh, a pulp hero made in reality. Pulp heroes are, are bigger than life. They're born in crazy places. They explore crazy places. They are the highest educated uh, people. And they're also, you know, super athletic and strong. And that's Manly Wade Wellman, an athlete, great school, born in Africa, toward Europe and, and at a young age. I mean, this guy lived the pulp hero life. <laughs> uh, he was a pulp hero. And he has a pulp hero name, so that helps too. Uh, but Manly Wade Wellman is a great, great guy. He started writing in the, in the 20s. Um, he, was, he was writing for decades and decades into his career. He was hugely influential. And it's, a, and, it's a, and it's a strong read, and I, I recommend Man of the Way Woman to you uh, from a number of places. Um, I, I, I came to him from the Cthulhu Mythos. I actually read a Cthulhu Mythos story that he wrote, uh, which is my first story of him. Um, and then I kind of let, let him sit for a while. And then um, after I was doing some deep digging into Gary Gygax's Appendix N, which mentions Man of the Way Woman as one of the biggest influences on early Dungeons and Dragons and Gary Gygax, and thus modern fantasy through that, uh, all of which has taken its notes from Dungeons and Dragons in the 70s. Um, I, I did a deeper dive into his fantasy, his horror, his stuff like that, and I've really enjoyed it. Um, you know, and I really enjoyed it. And I think this story, uh, The Edge of the World, I give an 8 out of 10. I think it's very well done and very strong. Um, but, it's a, but it's the final story by Cardios of Atlantis. Now, as a reminder, Cardios of Atlantis is um, a the last Atlantean. It's a different Atlantis story than your normal take on Atlantis, where you're having, you know, world people sit on Atlantis, or the kingdoms is, is happening, the island is powerful, it's, it's at its max power, right? Um, you, you typically write stories in Atlantis, but this is actually with a character who's the last survivor of Atlantis. His name is Cardios. He's, he's an adventurer, he's a harpist, he is a... Um, Kind of, kind of a do-it-all kind of person, and he was flung upon, upon the shores of a far-flung territory, and now he explores everywhere. And now he's reached a place in the mountains that's considered the edge of the world, and it's the last city uh, before the edge of the world. And it's right really close to it, and, and, um, and so, so people that have explored past the edge have never come back, uh, and so he's arrived at this city that's supposed to be the edge of the world. And then, and, and then he's going to take a deep dive into the city and what's going on in the city uh, and that sort of a thing. And his arrival is going to cause some events to happen, just like you would typically expect from it. Um, but I really like what Manly Wade Woman does in this story because what he does um, is kind of a flip around. And yet, but he flips it around to a place where he, he deep dives into a pulp era style things. Now, all the Cardio stories were written in the started being written in the late 70s and 77. Um, they were published um, in, in various um, uh, publications of short stories that, that he had written, one short story to each collection. So, this collection that I have here that I'll link you to in the comments below. It's a collection of all the Cardios of Atlanta stories. But there's something, so this is not written in the pulp era anymore, but one of the main characters in the story is a pulp era woman. Um, and I mean that to, to, to Manly Way Wellman's detriment. I love Manly Way Wellman, but I think there's an issue with this story. Um, and, I, and we'll talk about that here in a moment. Um, but what winds up happening is he arrives in the story. He has his harp that he plays in the, um, in the main area, main square. Um, it's lots of celebrations. He celebrates the goddess of love, who is a little denigrated. Uh, in this uh, in this society, and then uh, the the queen who rules this this city state, uh, she hears him and has him brought up to her. He plays the songs for her with his harp. Um, she thinks he's really good. She also thinks he's really attractive and a handsome person too. Um, she celebrates the goddess of love too and venerates him when not venerating the king. Venerate other gods. Let's let's Cardios know this, um, and so she offers to sp to, sp to sp have him sp spend the night with her and sleep together. So they do. Uh, they sleep together um, and spend the night together. And when Cardios awakens, um, 
he is being uh, about, he's about to be attacked by two silent uh, who have their tongues cut out guards. Um, after she sleeps, with her, and she's like, I get lonely sometimes because I'm a solitary queen, uh, but I can't let my, my my citizens know. Of course, I hope you understand. Um, and she'll she'll head out to, to take him out and to uh, to have him killed. Um, this is going to cause Cardias obviously some issues and some problems as he tries to escape the palace uh, and and deal with all the various things that are happening with him. Um, so uh, that's about five or six pages into the 25 page story. So I'll leave you there. What's going to happen? What's 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 the secrets that that are going on in the city with the queen and that sort of thing? But uh, the trope in the pulp era, there were two tropes that women could be typically uh, assigned to. And because they were women, and you know this was a, this was a, a male-dominated society, right? Um, very misogynistic. The two tropes were defined by women's sexuality. The first was the virgin, the innocent, the woman that you want, uh, the good girl, the one who needs to be saved, right? Um, and that is sort of the, the first trope in the pulp era. The second trope in the pulp era is the woman who is sexually available, but you better not. So it's, it's a warning. It's a bad sign. If you go down that path, bad stuff is going to happen. To you, she is a troublemaker. You do not want to go down the path of the woman who's sexually available and sexually open. Well, this queen was sexually open. Cardio sleeps with her, and bad stuff happens to Cardios. It's a perfect example of a pulp era problem of women. Of the two definitions of women, they're either a whore or a virgin, defined by their by their sexuality, whether they're available or not. Um, and here we see a trope to exactly from the from from the pulp era and it's i don't think it's the mainly way wellman's credit he's decades into his career if he wrote this in the in the 30s okay sure i i still wouldn't be a fan of it going to it from the from modernized but whatever but decades into his career he's he he knows better by now and this is also you know after we've we've become more open with our eyes it it's not a good it's not a good look to, to my mind it's a throwback and, and, and it kind of felt a little bit out of character. But Manly Wade Wellman's writing here is just absolutely great. It's solid. He does a great job with the piece. Again, it's an 8 out of 10. Very well didn't, written as the final Cardios tale in it. And I do enjoy the inversion of with, with the woman character. Um, so I, I do enjoy that. I think I think it's I think it's a good idea and well done um, and done early on in the story. Um, so, But there you are. That's The Edge of the World. Have you read it? What did you think of it? Did you agree or disagree with my take? Is there anything you want to talk further about it in the comments? I would be happy to discuss them with you further. If you like this video, why not hit that subscribe button? There's going to be a whole lot more of these to follow. And finally, I just want to thank you for taking some time out of your day and investing it in watching my video. We all have so many things that are happening in our lives, right? And we're being pulled in so many different directions. So the fact that you spent this time with me is incredibly humbling. And I really do appreciate it. So thanks again. And have a great day.